once was a wee little baby girl born into this world. Her name was Rhonda. And in a wee little home, she grew and developed and learned and loved and experienced and accomplished and matured and advanced and expanded and evolved and gathered and progressed and grew up in this wee little home. And when she graduated, they expected great things from her. For you see, she was a very smart young lady and graduated valedictorian. Unfortunately, she did not be prepared for the big wide world. And when she got out on her own and started experiencing people and things and love and alcohol and alcohol and things and people and alcohol and alcohol and people and things and alcohol and alcohol. She reached this point. She had searched for something intangible, but never found it. She grew to hate looking in the mirror anymore. Every day weighed on her like a heavy rain. It suffocated her. She forgot how to breathe. She had reached the edge of a cliff and decided to jump and break into a million itty bitty pieces. But God was there to catch her. It's hard to stand on shifting sand it's hard to shine in the shadows of the night you can't be free if you don't reach for help and you can't love if you don't love yourself
I am Isaac. I am Rhonda's son. I am Matthew. I am Rhonda's son. I am James. I am Rhonda's son. I am John. I am Rhonda's son. My mom is beautiful. She is smart. She is funny. She is kind. She is unique. She is worthy of love and affection. She is never too much. And she is always enough. She is precious. She's a diamond, a rose, a pearl. She's the most stunning of all God's creation. She is worth more than you could ever imagine. Worth more than the numbers in the scale. Or the hair product she uses. Or the shoes she wears. More than the price tags on her clothes. Her worth passes all earthly things. Because in the eyes of the Lord God, she is loved. And she is worth dying for. Regardless of who she thinks she is. Whether she's at the top of her class. Whether she's on the hot list or the not list. Whether she's popular, or she hangs out with the unpopular, whether she's in or out, whether she loves herself, or she feels like she's falling apart, whether she's a winner, or she feels like a loser, regardless of who she thinks she is, the reality is that she deserves someone who would give up their life for her. She is powerful and strong and capable. Read about the women in the Bible. Esther, Ruth, Martha, Mary. These women changed the world forever. And inside of her is a woman with that same power and that same strength that same world changing capability. And her responsibility is to find that woman and set that woman free. This is who she is. This is what she must say. I'm a daughter of the living God. Cherished, loved, and adored above all things by the creator of all things. For the glory of Him, who is greater than all things, I am awesome. And please don't you forget it. This is who my mom is. 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 This is who I am today.